yeah, my name is John Ray de la Cruz. I'm 21 years old. I've started volunteering here at Paul since uh, 2016. The reason why I became a volunteer at Paws is that there's a lot of dogs, a lot of cats, that are being treated wrongly by other people. So uh, the main goal here at Paws is to rehabilitate them and to educate people how to treat them properly because everyone here has a shot to live in. So that's why we here at Paws would very much like to help all the cats and dogs that are in very bad shape right now. Um, it's not like other countries in Southeast Asia, let's say Singapore or other well-developed countries. But here in the Philippines, uh, what, we, we, what we want to achieve is the, the balance between human and animals that they need to be respected the way we respect ourselves. So um, here in the Philippines, we have some people who really like to do uh, volunteering and they love to help out animals but there are some really slip down the way and not really good when it comes to pets so yeah. what we do here is we yearly we have events to educate as well people to show them what we have done to show them that this dog right here hasn't been treated well but when you treat them with love we treat them with respect they could turn out great just like how humans can be so basically we want to make sure that everyone here in the philippines not just in the philippines everyone in the world knows how to treat their pets rightfully just like how you treat other people that people can check out and they can also come visit here at Paws at a shelter to check out cats and dogs that are good for them and once they have uh, decided that they would like a pet we ex we provide them the information that they need to do like such as visit Paws or visit the shelter three times um, in company with your pet or the pet that you're gonna be liking or you're gonna be taking home you mingle with them to, to create a bond that you that would never be severed. So after the third visit, a volunteer from Paws, such as me, such as me, mm -hmm. or an admin would go to your house and go check it out for an ocular visit. Mm -hmm. And once it's all settled, you can go ahead and go to Paws for the last time, fill out the adoption form, pay a certain amount of fee since uh, we've already covered your spaying and neutering. Since we don't want them to be, if you don't want to. Uh, you know, create more puppies and I want to create more kittens. Mm -hmm. It's better to spay and neuter them so that they could be more happy with you as well. Yeah. So once that is processed, just pay the adoption fee. Uh, there's a minimum 500 for cats and a thousand pesos for dogs. And after that, you're good yeah. to go with your new dogs. Because yeah. we always believe here that a pet is also a lifetime commitment. Right. It's not just um, you like a pet, you get it. If you don't like it, you throw it. No. Right. It's just like a baby. When you get a baby, you can't just throw it away when you don't like it. Yeah. It's, it's a forever with you. So they'll be there forever with you until the time comes that they need to go away yeah. or to pass on to the next uh, phase. So that's what we want to make sure here to pause. That yeah. Once you got a, some, a certain pet, make sure it stays with you until it goes out. Exactly. Because um, every donation counts, uh, no matter if it's monetary or cat food, dog food, it's all always yeah. being taken with full heart. Because yeah. here at Paws, it's for volunteer work. Like yours, yeah, for yeah. A volunteer myself, and you know, it, since Paws is a non-government organization, we don't really rely on the government to get any much any fund at all. So mm -hmm. we rely on people who have a heart to share. Um, just like uh, there are a current donation of newspapers, that is that is actually a huge help as well. Since whenever we have events, we don't have the the what do you call this the luxury to buy tissue paper. So instead of using tissue paper, we recycle those newspaper and use them instead. Mm -hmm. So every donation really helps um, for embetterment of our pets here, our cats and dogs, mm -hmm. uh, buying them cat food, dog food, and also the equipments that we use for um, sterilization, for giving them a spaying and neuter. That really helps a lot. Even if it's just a thousand dollars, one hundred dollars, it's already enough. Yeah.